Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Realm of Ori. In this video, we will continue with Volume 15, Chapter 2, Unleashed Power, Part 6. And before we start, this video contains spoilers from the Tensura Light Novel. And by the way guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications for upcoming videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Veldora regarded my body as a mere blip, no matter how stretched it was. This is also something that can't be done without CL's help, and it occurred to me as soon as I saw the abnormally powerful seal that nothing could possibly match its calculating power. Now I'm in excruciating pain. The hostile presence that was eroding Veldora's being began to resist it. My body is gradually collapsing due to the Storm Dragon's Dragon Spirit aura. The Storm Dragon, unlike me, who wanted to devour myself, wanted to destroy me and thus the fierce attack and defense began. It hurts, it's hot, and it's too much to bear. I should not have been in pain, but it ran through my entire body. I was supposed to be unaffected by the heat, but now I felt as if I was about to melt in the oppressive heat. To put an end to this misery and save Veldora. After all, I'm not alone at the moment. Seal is a trustworthy partner. I'm going to consume the storm dragon and extract Veldora's core. This level of suffering is insignificant as long as the task is completed. Is that okay, Seal? Leave it to me. I expanded the erosion after receiving a solid response. The energy that's been sucked up is what's holding me back. When a part of one's body is destroyed, infinite regeneration regenerates a new one. That is, the energy consumed is forcibly absorbed. Granted, it's easier to just waste that energy, but that won't work. There's a chance you'll harm Veldora's heart core if you don't properly analyze it with the analytical identification. It doesn't get much worse than that, but it's still the best option. This was the conclusion reached after consulting Seal, and all that was left was to repeat the entire procedure. I gave up thinking and went back to doing my homework. Time is running out, and the object is becoming too large to handle. I was worried about making it in time, but I trusted Seal. It must be possible to complete the task on time. Due to my busy schedule, I've been working on a few other parsing assignments. Do you want to hear them? What are you doing while I'm in pain? What is being done is a analytic identification of Velgrin's power. I mastered the laws of the Scorched Dragon's accelerated excitation, which was isolated in infinite space. Has anything else been analyzed? Yes. The process of deciphering the roar of destruction has also come to an end. After that, you can make the skill with some of the leftover King of the Storm. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't this the big report that'll make all the pain I'm experiencing go away? That kind of analysis, which felt extremely difficult just to listen to but was completed in the blink of an eye, is simply incredible. No, that is correct. Then it doesn't really matter. All that matters is that you start now. What's the point? The analysis of the Storm Dragon, via Predator, has been completed successfully. Lord Rimuru's body can now be transformed into that of the true dragon race. Is it something that should be implemented? Doesn't that mean I can join the true dragon race if my understanding is correct? This opinion is correct. Is it really possible? Yes, without a doubt. So you want to become a true dragon race? Yes, no. Yes. All of my pain vanished in an instant. Pain, heat, and bitterness are all present. The dragon spirit aura of the storm dragon is no longer effective against my new body. If you're wondering why, it's because I'm also capable of using dragon spirit fighting chi. My mana became increasingly massive, to the point where one was concerned that if it continued, it would swell to the point of being uncontrollable, causing me to storm out. It is not a problem. I'll take care of everything. My mana level was finally comparable to Veldora's after I became a true dragon species. The limit was then pushed. I've reincarnated as a new true dragon species. Rimuru, you've done it. It's surprising that you've evolved into a true dragon race, but I was right about you all along. Kuahahaha. It's also too soon to rejoice over the victory. The exact location of Veldora's heart's most critical core nucleus is unknown. That is why I began the final step. Let's just get this over with. Devour it all, the king of gluttony. It was a completely different, one-way progression than it had been previously. The devourer and the one who is being devoured. The heroic bottle's curtain came down quietly. The higher realm is reached with the evolution of a creature and the birth of a being. Only an unidentified life form remained after the light faded. Veldora had vanished. Velgrind realizes this while being eaten by the slime, the demon lord Rimuru. Rimuru devoured all of the storm dragon and transformed himself into the fifth true dragon race, ultimate slime, viscous dragonic demonic star god body. After that, the slime began to take on a human form. 
Rimuru took the next step, perfectly suppressing his excess energy, and then smiling as if satisfied. While in captivity, Velgrind witnessed everything. The energy transfer stops halfway through. She sank into a daze, unable to believe what was happening in front of her eyes. Veldora was swallowed up right in front of her eyes in a moment when Velgrind's sanity was blown away by rage. Velgrind let out a snarl of rage. The heat break prison shattered and dissipated after 200 seconds. The Scorch Dragon has shown hostility towards Rimuru, putting her logic aside to protect herself. You have no right to take my lovely brother. Wasn't it you who was the first to strike? Isn't it because of you that I was going to fight Veldora? Be quiet. Your kind ate Veldora, and it will not happen again. I didn't expect him to lose to the monster demon lord, despite the fact that I thought he was a bit cunning. It's something I'll never admit. I'm not going to spare you. Velgrind was furious because I devoured Veldora, so she most likely mistook that Veldora had been killed or wiped out entirely. That is, in this case, a good thing. It's time to unleash the dragon liberation and put an end to the confusion. Ah, wait, 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 Rimuru. What's the matter? Pay attention, Rimuru. Right now, my sister is enraged because she believes I've been wiped out. Right? Yes, that's correct. That's why I'm sending you out to explain yourself, in the hopes of avoiding a pointless brawl. Stupid. Don't be so hard on yourself. If my sister sees that I'm fine, she won't be able to laugh and act as if nothing happened. All that rage is going to be directed at me. I was so terrified that I thought I'd stop breathing. Looking at such a raucous Veldora, I realized this guy was completely untrustworthy. That being said, this man isn't exactly useful in every situation. Please wait a moment. In that case, why don't you take advantage of Veldora's abilities, which I've already given you permission to use? So please hold off on implementing Storm Dragon Liberation until the power reform is completed. Veldora, in fact, was aware of CL's existence. How long has it been going on? He sensed my presence when Lord Rimuru had just evolved into a demon lord. Veldora claimed that he had been suspicious since the seal was still the great sage. After observing my stomach pouch, I began to notice a variety of strange occurrences. He seemed certain that his guesses were most likely correct as I evolved into the demon lord and the great sage became the king of wisdom. So far, they appear to have had a number of conversations, but Veldora has always assumed that the person speaking is me. Even though it didn't cause much trouble, it makes one wonder what these two were talking about. Apart from that, the most important thing was that Veldora knew Seal. That is, you two were actually acquainted. And then, are you in agreement with Ciel's proposal? Well, that's exactly what happened. Despite my desire to be my sister's opponent, I was unable to do so for this reason. I'm sorry, Rimuru, but I'm going to leave everything to you. I should be able to easily defeat her, so let's see how far I've progressed in various areas. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's preferable that way. According to various analyzes, the ultimate power of Storm King Veldora and Covenant King Uriel can be combined to create a new ultimate skill called King of Stellar Wind. Is it something that should be implemented? Perhaps there's a better way to do this? So proceed with caution and consider it later. The time had come for me to face Velgrind, just as I was pondering these things.